What is the worst that can happen? Women are very afraid of taking risks in business and therefore often they play safe. And that's what this video is about because sometimes you have to take risks. My name is Tineke Rense from Powerful Business Academy. I help self-employed businesswomen build a business with a team, with automation, with system, delegation. You're playing in a bigger league. And that may be a risk. So what is it about uh, risk taking? Uh, why do women not do this very easily? Well, first of all, there's something we have to understand about ourselves is and that we often love to be in control. That's how most women are wired. And the opposite of that is taking risks where you don't know what's going to happen and you have no control. So I believe this is one of the reasons why the businesses of men are so huge and so large of the most men and most women remain very small businesses and have small businesses. Um, so I want to teach you a little bit about taking risks and how you can do this because I believe it really helps and serves women to, to look at this and to take more risks. Um, first of all, what you do is if there is a new opportunity and, and, and you think you want to do this but it scares you and that's always where the, the not having control comes in. If we, we know how to do it, if it's totally obvious to us, it's not a risk. So we don't feel the anxiety. We start to feel the anxiety when we are afraid we're going to lose control. Well, that is exactly what has to happen. Because otherwise you will not break out of that comfort zone and you will not be able to scale and grow much faster and bigger. And even when I say that faster and bigger, you might think, oh, yeah, because that creates more situations of le having less control. So what, what if a new situation occurs and you, you don't know what to do? First of all is feel, feel, hey, there is anxiety, there is fear. That's an indicator because usually that is exactly the indicator that can help you grow. But now you're not going to protect yourself and not do it. No, you're going to look at it and you're going to see, okay, suppose I was going to do that. What is the worst thing that can happen? And write that down. Another question, what is the best thing that can happen? And it might be difficult if you're not an opp opportunistic person, if you uh, love to play safe. But challenge yourself, what is the best thing that can happen? And the next question is, what is the most likeliest thing that can happen? Now there's two things, two out of three, that, is, that are going to help you and are going to serve you. There's only one that is not going to help you. And making decisions based on fear and protecting yourself are usually not decisions that are going to help your business grow. Feel the fear and do it anyway. That's what I say to my clients. And there's another thing when it comes to investing, investing in programs. Is this a program where you potentially can make more money with? Yes or no? If that is the case, do the math. Don't look at the investment, but say, what is the worst I can happen? Well, I lose the money. Can I lose the money? Yes or no? What is the most likeliest that can happen? That I am going to start to learn a new strategy or a new skill so that I can potentially make more money with this and I can keep doing this over and over and over and over because that is what happens with my clients. They invest in me and they're not looking at how much it costs. Now they can see, hey, it is an investment. If I invest this money, I'm going to make so much more. What is the most likeliest thing that can happen? That is that you to totally shift your business. And usually that is what happens with my clients. 
they are a different business person and they have a totally different business. I'm not saying that they do different things, but in a whole different league. And that's a risk. But all my clients start making more money. So why? And this is not just for me, it's for any, every, every other investment out there. If it is an investment where you can potentially make more money, why is it such a difficult decision? Why do you look at what you don't have? I have a client, she lends money to pay me. But in the meantime now, and we're only working, and this was after six weeks, she started making more money than she pays me monthly. And she's reciprocating on that. So it's important for women to stop always playing safe. And then there's the other people. There's the people who want to protect you. They think they help you. When you finally break out of that comfort zone and, you, and it's a scary decision, you're going to talk to other people about it. They are going to warn you not to do it. They have not done the due diligence. They have not felt the energy. They have not um, made that decision. They cannot see what you can see. Most of the time, because they don't even own a business, they're in a job. So they feel it's their obligation to protect you from making a foolish investment. But only you can make that decision. Everything in life is about taking risks. If you have kids, you didn't know what it was like when you wanted kids, but you had this strong desire to have kids. Well, it's a liability, it's a risk. You have no idea what's going to happen. But because that's where we trust, that's where we know, we do it anyway. And then we'll figure it out on the way, won't we, moms? Well, that's exactly the same way with an investment, but there we treat it completely different. Okay, I hope you've learned something. If you want to know more about scaling and growing your business, I can help you with every topic. We work with the business blueprint. It's nine areas that every businesswoman needs to work on when she wants to scale and grow her business and play in a different league. And hey, we owe it to our tribes. We owe it that we don't play small because otherwise they won't know about us and we cannot serve them. All right? Schedule a quick 15 minute call with me. We add the link here and then we might speak to each other soon. And if not, next week, there's another video with another topic. Bye bye.